not for us one? He's so nice. Do you guys? Oh my god. Do you guys want one? I'm okay. Thank I'm you. I'll take one. What do you got? Oh my god. What do kind? you want water? What? I can't have do a white claw too? You're always changing your mind, man. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know I couldn't have water and have a white claw. I didn't know it was like exclusive out of here. He's like, no. What do you got? Mango, maybe? He oh, mango have time sounds kind of fire. The store, so you're like depleting his white claw. <laughs> no, all this, all this extra there. time now, and he can't go to the store. I know. I know. What's your excuse now? That's so cool. I know. Thank you. What made you decide to finally like? Well, I was just busy. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. if I don't do it, I'm not going to have time to edit. Right. Yeah. But. That's a big thing. All right. So we are ready, I think. Cool. Hi, Jasmine. Am I close enough to the mic? I think you have a little closer. closer. Move in a little bit? <laughs> yeah, just okay. a bit. Right there. Cool. That is perfect. Sounds Maybe good. bring it in a little, a little more. bit. With your, just like pull it in towards you like this. You know, oh, you can Because okay. it moves in. And then just kind of oh, pull it towards you. you guys are fancy. so like... So nice. fancy, huh? <laughs> okay, cool. It's we fancy. Got the whole thing going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Jasmine, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. This episode is episode 19. nineteen. Yep. Ooh. Welcome everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We are excited to have a super talented girl. Honestly. Oh, thank you. You guys are so kind. <laughs> yeah. No, you're so good. Like, how do you? How are you so good? Like, that's my question. Never. We we need we got we got we got some questions for you. I we know. got a lot of interviewing to do. So oh, seriously, geez. we're gonna go at you. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm here for us. it. So you, you just be ready to give it to me. Be ready yeah. to talk for like Let's a good hour. Right. Probably. Okay. You have to tell us all your secrets. Let's get into it. And everything. <laughs> Number yeah. one is just introduce yourself to everyone who might not know who you are. Okay. What you do. How long you've been doing it uh maybe what type of photography you specialize in i think okay cool well hey everyone my name is jasmine um i am a reno tahoe photographer and i've been doing it for a little over two years now so oh, i just go. hit my two-year mark in february so nice um yeah and then i guess i specialize in weddings elopements and like portraits i guess i don't know couples I like, nice. yeah i guess like i kind of do everything honestly i don't like to cap myself at anything yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there you go yeah i just try to like diversify my portfolio and just kind of shoot whatever i have the chance to and just so. have fun with it right yeah because exactly. everything's fun Everything is <clears throat> everything's fun, fun. well there's a little bit of <laughs> it's one different. thing is not as fun which is family portraits i kind of oh, like really you don't sweat like those? when it comes to family oh, portraits wow. tell us yeah. about that what is it, what is it i about don't it? know there's just so many people you have to make sure you get so many shots because oh, grandma grandpa blinked in this one oh, and then yeah. little timmy blinked in that one <laughs> so Timmy, yeah <laughs> I just <laughs> so I think that's like the stressful thing is getting enough photos for them where everyone's like looking their best but other than that's that true. they're still point. super fun yeah I mean yeah. the more people the harder it is to sometimes get everything right but yeah family portraits are pretty chill yeah. depending on the family I guess I mean, true that is like you never a know big, yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely there's definitely. some families that are so easy to shoot with but yeah then some others that are like oh just move a little bit I know. yeah <laughs> there's some that are just very like uptight or they're yeah. super Which is like fine, yeah you know? like picture perfect and you're like yeah okay. or they're the ones that yeah. are like super specific in what they want uh -huh. right but it's like, like only capture this side of grandma yeah and i'm like, or like okay yeah. <laughs> i'm like that doesn't really work what we got going on definitely but yeah it's all good that's how i feel it's all too, love. so but other than that um yeah i've just been taking photos taking i went photos full time uh back last may oh, so no kind way. Of COVID. that's yeah. actually like that's really interesting because uh you went full time really really quick yeah so like scary yeah quick. i want to talk yeah. to you about that because i was like <laughs> well that's crazy it only took fast. me six years you know no big deal <laughs> took me like took me you like three days, <laughs> yeah you know? I, I feel like you feel you went now. for it like super quick yeah. i just i remember when you're what when you bought the 6d that i was selling yeah. like two years ago or something so think, i really? still shoot on that too like yeah. i but have not upgraded my camera, camera? My 60. no yeah. way yeah mm -hmm. i like, remember shout that out to nanders honestly yeah. wow. and then after like that the i like yeah, got <laughs> after that i got like the mark ii from that because i was that's why i was trying to get rid of my 60 mark uh -huh. one, oh i gave you that, to the two. that guab yeah right? she gave me like nice. half basically yeah. so you know that's how i upgraded were you shooting before you bought that one camera? Yeah, or I had like a Rebel like T3 or something. Like, Is that the one the... you used when we 
met up with your friend Sam to like shoot? <laughs> yes. Yeah, huh? It yes. was that one, huh? Yeah, that's the only other camera I've had, and then I've had your camera ever since. That's, so. Are you still shooting with that one right now? I am. I wow. need to make an upgrade. That's I know. the 60? Oh, yeah. Dang. I'm wow. still on a 60. That is such a good camera, though. It is really It good. is. I really do love it. I had it, it for yeah. a little while, and you I know, mean, the focusing system is not great, but like... It's that just, is my thing right now that I'm focusing. really noticing. Yeah. yeah. So. I think... I mean, I would get the Mark II if I were you. It's great. Yeah. I used yeah, to love the Mark II. Awesome. I had it really? too. Sure. Yeah. yeah I went through so many good. cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I've had like, every camera in I the know. Market. I need to just go. I keep telling myself, like, just go Like, I think it, now the know? Mark II is probably not that expensive, huh? But then the... Probably not. But like then that goes to do. show, like, you don't need, like, a, the you best really camera, no. you know? Yeah. When I look at your stuff, I'm like, oh, she's definitely shooting with the Mark IV or something, you know? I swear. I swear. Like, I'm not even joking. What are you shooting with as far as, like, lenses go? Um, I have a Sigma 35. Oh, the good old That's classic. That's like the bread and butter. Yeah. You know? right. so, that but on I the 60? Yeah. <laughs> it's so I nice. I do want to upgrade chef that, kiss. though, yeah. to the Canon 35. Yeah, chef, chef kiss. kiss. The Canon 35 is really nice, too. <laughs> yeah, I heard that yeah. one is just, like, super crisp. So. Yeah, it's really sharp in the, the, um, it's really sharp in the focusing on it is, like, in my opinion, a little better than the Sigma. Because sometimes Sigmas right. tend to be weird about focusing but it's because you have to update them uh, i don't know if you've done that to your 35 no i haven't yeah there's a little need to do all those little there's specs. like a little it's like a little adapter that you connect into your computer and you download a software so it just checks your lens and updates oh, it okay to the latest firmware oh, so it's all like yeah. yeah. action camera i think they do it there. yeah they might yeah, do it for I you there just take all of my stuff to action camera just like hey can you like, make sure it's yeah. running good me up for wedding season, <laughs> yeah it's and like yo check everything out yeah. <laughs> so what made you go full-time though like were you super busy were you doing a lot of weddings what was the um a big like I guess, like, stepping stone to go full-time was I was working at my uh, family's escape room, and COVID hit, so we had to shut down, so I just mm. had, like, that free time to really just get out there and shoot, you uh -huh. know? And once I did that and just kept pumping out content, it just, like, kept flowing from there to where it got to a point where I told my family, like, I have no time now to, like, come back once we opened back oh, up like once COVID. Opened. Yeah, I was, like, my weekends are packed, even, like, weekdays were getting pretty full so um yeah covid was kind of like a blessing in disguise for me personally going full-time because it just opened up my schedule so oh, much that's more amazing. cool i love yeah, this yeah so, that's a yeah. cool story got one positive thing out of it i know <laughs> well everyone's saying it's a damper which it absolutely is i was kind of like i grew from the yeah i have very mixed that. feelings about it but we like, had we've yeah. had people in here that took advantage of that too right yeah, which yeah. Is all awesome. the free time you know instead of just sitting i feel around, like there was like, two ways to kind of go about the pandemic which was like you can be really down about it and like unmotivated or you can capitalize use your that free was, time yeah. to capitalize absolutely so. that was That's a year ago actually i mean yeah, yeah we like got shut down today. yeah just recently yeah. right because oh, we're wow. in the middle of march already which is i've gotten the the memories on instagram right i know oh, yeah, right? Same. and i noticed i had uh, a picture that i took when i stopped working i stopped working for right. a week oh, and then i went wow. back but yeah it's crazy I, I, I know a little memory popped up like yesterday and me and my friend lauren went to costco and just like did a whole costco haul because we <laughs> for sure thought like We're everything out, was gonna right? be out you oh. know so <laughs> we we stockpiled on a lot of things like how so everybody that was, was kind of buying hell of stuff yeah <laughs> like unnecessary so you like, were the we reason never... why i couldn't find toilet paper probably huh? yeah, yeah so, blame it on me right. that's okay like, every case. i'll take it it's fine all right <laughs> Yeah. I guess uh, that's what I get for not going for not going <laughs> to the store. <laughs> oh, I know you were lagging even back then, dude. I know. Dang. But... Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I mean, we'll we'll talk about some of the questions that we got. I don't know if you got any or if you got any, but some people asked me some on the page that I thought were pretty interesting. But um, I wanted to ask you about how from when you went full time to now, because that's what a year now. Mm hmm how like that's bit, yeah. been and kind of how this year is looking as far as last year being the peak of the pandemic versus this year like things are starting to get a little better right but how's that for you so far um definitely things have picked up for sure like um elopements are kind of really in right now and i think i'm booking more of those than just traditional weddings in the yeah. first place mm -hmm. so um that's been really good and then i just feel like people are <clears throat> wanting to get photos in general just to like feel good about themselves because they worked on themselves mm -hmm. during covid oh, yeah. so um yeah things are like really 
peaking right now, I would say, which is really cool. Do you have, like, a lot of elopements or weddings for this year so far? I do, yeah. I have about 19. Like, last week I got kind of, awesome. like, four inquiries out of nowhere, oh, wow. back to back. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm stressed. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, <that's laughs> yeah, cool. and then with my photo booth that I added on as well, like, that kind of really elevates things. Talk to too. us about that. When did yeah. that come up? Like, as um, an idea? I've had the photo booth. I got it during COVID because I was like, oh. you know what? Like, it's time to like capitalize on every like revenue that I can, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, I bought the photo booth last year and it's like one of those really cool up to date photo booths where you can take like gifts, boomerangs, stuff oh, like that. Oh, so wow. it's like almost like an Instagram, like IG story thing, but like in a photo booth. Oh, setting. that's cool. Yeah. So oh. it's pretty oh, that's neat. Awesome. Yeah. So and do you so just, I, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so do you just kind of like rent that out as people ask you for it like on the event or right it's like right now it's really packaged with weddings that i offer so i've had a lot of brides kind of like tag team both of those but then okay. um i rent it out for like birthday parties like corporate events stuff oh, like wow, that that's super so, cool. oh, that's awesome. yeah, yeah yeah that's a really nice idea that is yeah. so smart that is damn so what smart. are you about doing yeah bro? you're about to steal <laughs> my know, idea no. we, gotta, we gotta hop on that <laughs> Wow, you just, yeah. before Jasmine trademarks it and we can't. <laughs> I'm about to, now that you know, I'm just kidding. You're no, just that's making really me fun. feel bad about myself. Like, no. Dude, like, you're killing it. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I was like, what was I doing? I know, like, whoa, I need to step it up. It just, know? like, gave me anxiety sitting around being, like, just unsure of things. So I wanted to be sure of things once mm -hmm. I got no, that's back good. to normal, you know? That's so. definitely, like, taking advantage of free time. Right, so. right. But then, doesn't that just show you... First, there's so many people getting married. Yeah. We have, like, a lot of weddings this year, cool. and we still get asked, and we're like, we can't do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're super booked. And we know plenty of people that are super booked, right. you know? It's just crazy how Reno is just... It is. And you, one thing I've ran across, I don't know if you guys have, like, run across this problem, but I had four inquiries for the same date, and I'm like, that never happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, a few of those. four wedding inquiries like on the same exact date that i had to be like sorry and they're like everyone else's book too so it was really strange yeah like, yeah was know? it during like the very busy traditional months like august September, it's august July? 21st that's oh, the date yeah that is I've, the date <laughs> i've gotten i've gotten inquiries about that date but i've had that date booked since last year right same mm -hmm. yeah and i'm like yeah i don't know good luck trying to find somebody because i know no, we're i've all had really booked in august. i've had a lot of july and august come in the past four or five months but mm -hmm. these were already booked since like last summer right you know good for so you. i'm like nice. sorry guys yeah and they're like really you already booked out that ahead i'm like yeah, yeah. we really are i yeah. think like for anybody watching who has a question of their head of like how far should we book a photographer videographer honestly as soon as you have your date right. yeah like don't wait because i've yeah. had people who are like yeah we had our date like last year but, you know, they're barely now coming to me mm -hmm. when it's, like, six months before. And I'm, and like, like COVID what? like, changed things, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, too. like, why yeah. didn't you ask me when you had your date? Right. And they're, like, what do you think you'd be that booked out? I'm, like, well, there you go. Now yeah. I can't be there. Sorry. Now you know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So. There's people who book, like, two years ahead of time. And I'm, like, honestly, right. you know what? It's better to play it safe. Are you like, guys booked out that far, too? No. Or? I no. just got booked out <laughs> for a wedding in 2023. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. No way. In February. Yeah, February 2023. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> that literally just happened to me, <laughs> like, two days ago. Show. Yeah. Do you, do you ever get the thought that what if, like, I book something in, like, two years, and then what if I'm not even a photographer then? Do you I ever know. get that? Kind of. Because yeah, I do. I'm kind like, of. I love doing this, and right. I, I hope I can do this for a long time, but what if something happens, you know? And True, I don't and know. you have to. I know. I know. I mean, and I've thought thing. about that, too, but it's like, in that case, then... I feel like the minute you feel like you're not going to do it, then let the, the couple know right. and say, hey, yeah. like something came up and I just can't. And if they give you a deposit, like return it. Yeah. yeah. You're not even going to be there. Definitely. But, but, or even like if you move, you know, like. Yeah. You never know where life yeah. takes you. So yeah. it's kind of. Sometimes like, it's scary. you're across the country and you're like, yeah. oh, I've got to go back to Reno It's kind of scary to wedding. book yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of yeah. scary to book out so <laughs> far ahead of time. But it's like people have to do know. it, you yeah. know. Definitely. If you could only do one thing, would it be weddings? Is that the one thing that you would do? No, I think branding. That's really? like my jam. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just like creative 
like photo shoots. You're very creative. Thank you. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> Can you I get just... me some? <laughs> Where do you Thank get you. this creativity I don't from? I know, like TikTok is like a big right. thing, mm. or just Pinterest. Pinterest really. is great. I've been Pinterest is fire. Yeah. I've been really bad about that. I yeah. I refused to download TikTok for the longest time because I was like, I don't want to waste time, you know. Yeah. But I, I feel like I, I'm just missing out on so many things you know right. that you can just check out on there do you want to know one more secret and i'm only gonna tell you guys because i'm on the podcast yeah only us and okay, then maybe a yeah. hundred people then, but <laughs> <laughs> um america's next top model too really? i kind of pulled some inspo from tyra banks yeah oh, like okay. the oh, wow. and, okay. guys and like all their little photo shoots that they do oh, during sweet. i mean they are professional so <laughs> they that, really that's are actually, yeah. so yeah i mean sometimes i can pull some stuff from that too yeah that can come oh, out as like a good source yeah just wow. watching things because all, all i've ever yeah. really looked for is on tiktok and pinterest and there's a lot there right but i'm sure there's like other avenues you can look I'm into get on yeah. tiktok you should i downloaded should. it but i have not it so i can it. send you stupid tiktoks yeah know, don't do that though <laughs> <laughs> don't freaking do that man i don't He's want like, that i don't you're want gonna that want it, though. no eventually you will you're gonna be like keep it coming but send me like useful stuff i was the same way i was the same way when i was first getting tiktok i'm like i don't want to get sucked into this and have people send me dumb stuff all the time right. and then now it's like i'm the one doing that now you get I sucked into it all the time you really do it's okay though it's funny tiktok's funny yeah just when the guy pops up that says stop you've been on tiktok for way too Oh, yeah. Long, you should put your phone down. There's a, there's a guy that makes twice. TikToks. Oh, really? Yeah. Where, like, if you're scrolling so far enough, you'll be like, hey, you've I see you're here now. You've been scrolling long. way too long. And I'm like, oh, wow. I've never had it happen, but I've seen, like, Twitter. Oh, videos my gosh. I had it happen twice in one oh, night. Damn. That's how you know I had it bad. I yeah. was like, okay, No, I don't think I, I ever to, scroll that much. Yeah, on TikTok. I need to slow down. That's, that's pretty crazy. funny, though. But I guess I, I have the time now, so maybe. You're gonna oh, yeah. have Don't to find something to do. Don't get sucked in like that, though. Like, yeah. Use your time wisely. Maybe say I only get ten minutes of TikTok a day. <laughs> time management, yeah, bro. Time timer. management. That's, that's a good be, idea. That's gonna be huge. But even with your compositions and everything, like, how are you so good? I just don't know. You want to hear I something know. funny? <laughs> I've never heard of compositions until like two weeks ago when I did a mentorship with Ali Boundy. Like, she's the one that would really talk to me about compositions. And in my head, I'm like, I had no idea what really composition is. that really was with photography. So yeah, it's just natural. Is that what you're saying? No, I don't want to say that. Like she's just a natural. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's just great. She's just great. Thank so. you. You're so kind. No, honestly, I attribute a lot of that to like nanders and like other photographers oh, that came before me because yeah, honestly i reached out and <laughs> like he was one of the of first here, like people to really be like yeah come shoot with me you know so seeing how you did things and like going from there really helps this is why you help your locals guys exactly like, this is yeah, why this is why you reach out too i've had some people reach out and i'm like oh this is it just feels great you know it does i, I can't even yeah. put myself in somebody that in somebody's shoes that is like gets a message like that and is like, nah, I'm not gonna help this person. I'm like, right. how could you not? It's so yeah. discouraging I don't too get when it, you yeah. do reach out to like an idol or someone you like, I love their work, I wanna know, and they just like, it says scene in the yeah. bottom, right? They don't even reply. <laughs> My heart yeah. hurts. <laughs> yeah. I think, I don't know, to each his own, I guess, but it's like, when you go from the one asking all the questions to answering questions, it's like right. a good feeling. Yeah, you'll, you know? yeah, you'll get there. Full circle, there. You'll honestly. Get there. Yeah. So. It's just mm. better to reach or out. I think anyway. once you get to the level of the people you were trying to get at, mm. and then they acknowledge that, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it's a great feeling, too. Accomplishment. Like when, yeah. yeah, you're just like, wow, I remember, like, years ago asking you, and now we're, like, here. Yeah, you know? like, same level, kind yeah, of. It's really, yeah, it's a really good feeling. I just, I just noticed that Tony made a comment on my video. I'm like... Yes. I'm like, <laughs> Isn't that oh, the best? Got it. And they're like, I love that. It's <laughs> like, I got my comment. I'm good. <laughs> there you go. What about video? Have you ever thought into making You know, I videos? just bought a gimbal like a little Same. bit ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Literally like three days ago. Right. Do you want to go on a gimbal yeah, like, day or something? Gimbal you know? day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. So... I want to dabble with it for sure, but mm, I just haven't yet. Yeah, I like feel like I'm spreading myself like all over the place. So I really want to dial in on what I've started, like photo booth and just everything like that. But 
videos would be really have cool. Have you, um, do you have thoughts of, like, expanding the photo booth? Like, getting more? Absolutely. Well, that's another thing. Everyone that wanted that August 21st date wanted oh. the photo booth attached to it. So, oh. and I've had that happen quite a few times already where someone's wanted still the photo booth for a wedding, even though I couldn't you be couldn't the photographer. Be but... Mm -hmm the wedding that I did had already rented out the photo booth. Oh, so awesome. I'm Damn. already thinking about, yeah, maybe yeah, it sounds a second like, on board. It sounds like a project where you have to have multiple ones. You do. Because if yeah. not, you're limiting it to just the date. You can be exactly. there, I guess. Exactly, yeah. So cool. I definitely need to, like, expand it. Reevaluate. So how did you, like, did you make it? Did you buy it? Like, how did um, I know you what is buy it? it? Yeah. What exactly is it? Did you just... So essentially, it's an iPad. Right, oh, so you buy okay. the like newest iPad, and then it has it's called the salsa booth, and then it sends it to you in like this big suitcase, and it's pretty much the photo booth. You put the iPad in it, and then it has like a ring light, and then you have to buy the software, like the oh. photo booth software. For okay, it. And, so, and that's how it like operates and all that. Yep, yeah, literally you wow, plug it in, girl. and it's really cool. It's good well, to at go. least we'll get to see it at Camille and Leo. Right, yeah, yeah gonna, definitely. I'm gonna yeah. Take so, so is it like really cool. <laughs> <laughs> take all this huh. stuff there. we're gonna yeah. hop in there together like little boomerangs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it pretty easy to like? transport or? absolutely it's literally <laughs> a suitcase the size of this table right here what? and so you break it all down you put in the suitcase it has like little wheels so you can roll your little that's so cool suitcase around Damn, so, that's so yeah so, yeah that's hella dope what the yeah heck? yeah so so. yeah that definitely you need to get more of those <laughs> yeah yeah my cousin Honestly. had one at his wedding and i and again that's when i was kind of really thinking about photography and doing it and i was like this is so smart because like, i i don't think i've talk to another photographer here that has her own booth only like, that's one other I... girl photographer bridget west she oh because she has one she has one yeah oh, okay, okay yeah other than that i haven't really heard of yeah. anyone else well now they're one. gonna hear and they're gonna be like, i know hey y'all see okay. me check me out in a month bro hey in a month guys the, the nanders photo no i'm just kidding <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but we're just talking about how many people there are that are getting married or you there's know, room they have for something. us all honestly that sense. was one thing i was super nervous about like coming into this space was there was already so many big guys like chef and davy that there's i was so like many. how can i and taylor like how can you compete you know but, but then, then once you get in the space and you yeah. realize like we all have our own aesthetic and our own style and the way we go about things mm -hmm. like there's room for us all so i, I, I definitely had that yeah. feeling before too like especially with those guys because mm -hmm. they were kind of the ones i looked up to but i'm like Same. they're kind of like yeah they got the market on hold and then right. I would, you know it's kind of discouraging when you're not getting booked a ton at first but yeah. then you know it takes time it, it takes does. time it really like we does. always said yeah. it takes longer for some people or less for some but that's right. just how it is like yeah we are we all yeah. work on our own like time clock exactly you know, and some so. people might do things to get there faster some right. might not be as active on it to get there faster which right. is okay it's like go at your own pace yeah but then there's like jasmine he was like nah a year Stop. i'm cool <laughs> Yeah, and she's like, no, she's oh, I'm gonna make like, a oh, what? Uh, <laughs> two years, I can just be, a, you know, full time business and woman, and, and I can just have a photo booth. You guys are uh, so must be kind. Nice. Wow. Must be nice. Yeah, I just yeah, take pictures, dude. That's it. Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I make stickers. <laughs> That's super dope. <laughs> so I'm yeah, like, I make stickers, like, guys. Hit me up for that. And your puzzle. Like, I've never seen. All the puzzle, yeah. yeah. I was looking. I know. I just like to have make that. stuff. I just like yeah, to make stuff. It's no, fun. That's cool. I haven't a... seen any other photographer, cool. like, make a puzzle out of their photos. I think right. I can that's take, I think I can take, uh credit for that one here like totally. the stickers yeah. and the puzzles so far totally not that i'll yeah. care if people do it but i'm like i was still the first one right <laughs> how are you is your family like um business like a, a lot of business related stuff like um, how are you so business driven I don't yeah know like that what makes any what sense. brought the business side of you if anything right i would say so <clears throat> like my grandpa and his parents own like a donut shop like way back in like the 70s so ran their own business and then it was really my cousin that kind of got me in like that business mindset he mm -hmm. uh worked for the anaheim ducks back okay. in the day and then realized that he was making them a lot of money right so he started his own business i helped run that business and then got my my wheels turning like mm. oh if he could do that i sure as hell can do mm -hmm. that you yeah. know what i mean and then yeah and once you kind of get in that space like that creative mindset it just kind of like snowballs from there really because then you're kind of looking at everything like how can i capitalize on that right. you know that is super so. important like i feel like your background has a lot to do with like what you yeah. do in life you know right. because honestly i hadn't i never had that if anything i had the opposite side of that you know yeah. 
And so I feel like one reason why it took me so long because I was just like, this is just side, this is right. just side work. But then, I don't know, I kind of just realized that I, I could, like you said, capitalize on this and just do this. Right. So I'm giving it a shot. But it's yeah. interesting to I see. I had it both ways, too. I mean, my mom was very much like, go to school, <clears throat> get an education, get a job through school, right? Mm-hmm. And at first, I was very much in that mindset. Like, I need to go to school to make it. And then I was in school, and then photography happened, and then it went like, Ooh, like nope that's not like the way it has right. to go you yeah know? so same my yeah. mom was the same way my said that was the go for it in yeah. the in the family yeah. cool. you know what i mean yeah so i, I think it helps you to have that. someone yeah yeah, yeah. or even if they're not necessarily like right off the bat being like go for it when you do approach them about it like they're supportive like when mm-hmm. he told me that his mom was like you do whatever makes you happy kind of thing no, i'm like that's yeah. all you need dude yeah that's literally i got a cool mom yeah you do shout out to chava's yeah, mom do. she's yeah. hella cool moms so are the best. <laughs> yeah chava's mom's pretty cool my mom's pretty funny <laughs> she is kind of funny she's kind of quiet when i see her but that's because she's not comfortable yet yeah she's just quiet i gotta come visit chava more <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so she she, like, she gets up. more comfortable yeah yeah no but she's she's cool i think it's just nice to have a good support system not just through your family i mean friends too right, you know like friends who motivate thing. you to be like yeah, you know, you should go for that and yeah. not, like, question you or doubt you about mm-hmm. it because, you know, friends, friends yeah. tend friends, to do that. Right. Friends tend to do that, too, <laughs> but it's like, whatever, man. Right. Y'all are going to regret it when I'm out here. <laughs> when I'm out here out making here stacking, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be like, oh, oh, you can't kick it because you have to be at your job? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can hang out, right? though. <laughs> I know yeah but. that's like one thing i'm struggling oh with God. right now too i'm like i have all this free time and my friends don't and i'm like come on like hop on like the entrepreneurship like, huh. let's go. like <laughs> it's like know? you'll get like, on it you see the time i have like come on you know it so, it is kind of yeah. hard to like balance that because mm-hmm. i remember before i had the same work schedule as like my friends mm-hmm. so we would all hang out on designated days like Oh, we're off weekend, so Saturday let's do something. Now right. it's like Saturdays are like a no. Yeah, it's like, yo, dude, they want to hang out weekends, and I'm like, I'm kind of booked. Right. Yeah. And then so Especially I'll try to find you. You like stack like eight photo shoots <laughs> a day, and I'm like, I bow down to that because I'm like, no way. I yeah, me, do me it. and Chavo were being workaholics last year. How many year? Yeah. did you like? do you do the bro. most i've had in a day is like three but that's the most i oh, give really? myself do you, oh, remember, no. do you remember that one day when you had like 10 and i had like 12 yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god like when you guys post on your stories shoot one two three and he it started the doing that i'm like i'm gonna start doing that oh yeah i've always i've always liked him. showing like the progress through the day yeah, yeah. yeah. no yeah. i love that but I'm yeah like, people people actually kind of like that like people have been like i love how every weekend i go on your story and it's just like your day and i'm like yeah (laughs) seriously they're like it'll be oh it's like nine in the morning and you did one and then it's like two and you did one and then then oh here's a random song on your story that you posted from spotify (laughs) and i'm like you always got to put the song in between you know because that's usually when i'm driving to the shoot so i'm like (laughs) kind of jamming right i remember this one time i had a lot of shoots i can't remember how many but then i decided to do a vlog on top of it oh Oh, i remember that (laughs) so i I was vlogging doing all these shoots recording my <laughs> it was crazy on stories. i remember that a while i'm like what was i doing there was well, now you can do more of that you kind of set that yourself up true. for that yeah you, know, you, have you maybe you can bring the blogs back maybe now. i can yeah maybe you should maybe yeah, you have the free i don't time. know mm, i don't Dabble know with it. you're gonna yeah, you're gonna we'll need see. something to do we watch. support that is you in true. your decision bring the so. blogging i just back. like i wish it was like more interesting you know? yeah <laughs> blogging's not the most like omg thing but it's kind of fun for people to watch it's right because they see like a totally different side maybe i'll get into blogging you want to hear something funny like that's the reason i bought the rebel back really me and lauren thought we were gonna be like little (laughs) youtubers yeah we're like (laughs) let's buy a camera so like black friday hit bought a camera and then didn't touch it like oh for wow sure. we're like we're gonna blow up and be youtubers and then just didn't touch the camera so it's just kind of hey, funny maybe how now that, that i got out. a gimbal bro i'm gonna start blogging can you teach yeah. me yeah, yeah, yeah i'm like it, teach man. me how to yeah, edit videos me too gimbal let's gimbal day let's go on a gimbal day okay let's all right, do it we'll, let's all link up <laughs> we'll and then go, i'll and bring the white cloth. yes there are gimbals <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <just> the- <laughs> 
You're like, Chava, so how do I put the settings down? Right. Right. You're I the know. one that knows the video here. I used to do that for the longest time. I got my gimbal and I would go around the house and just kind of like... <laughs> That's getting, cool. Like, 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 bro, that was me. <laughs> that was me when I got mine. I took it out of the box and I set it up and I was just in my room like, yo, this is me, dude. Just, cool <laughs> <to do that. laughs> just recording my room like, wow, this is dope. Look how stabilized I that know. is. It's and so I remember funny. when I first got into gimbals, I got one. That was like a really long time ago. But then gimbals weren't as good as they are now. Uh-huh. And then I got this little gimbal. It had so many glitches. But it was fun. To it was your startup. Yeah. 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 That's what got you going. It was going. like this new yeah. thing. That I was like, whoa, this is wild. But then I find myself doing some of the things that I practice here in the house, like doing weddings, you uh-huh. know, like when you have to do something quick and right. you're like, oh, I can do this right here. And then just, this you is, know, I practice, mean, yeah. practice. No, just practice sh- it wherever. Yeah, so I maybe, think you're going to need to help me and Anders out. Yeah. yeah. You got to gotta, gotta, gotta hip- you gotta help us out. Yeah. Bro, I'm so lost. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Double into it. It's a fun I'm thing gonna to do. go over some of the questions I got for you, okay? All right. Because okay. we had some pretty good ones here. Let's hear it. Um, someone said you're really good at capturing emotion. How do you think you do that? <laughs> that's I a great question because I want to know too. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes um, I feel like that's know. something I want to do a lot, but I'm not the best at either. Right. So, um, that's, that's a hard, really huh? good question. Wow. That's Whoever that you know, was, good that? for you. That was our boy Axel. Oh, oh really? Oh, Our last oh, guest. Cool, we just cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout I just watched that. That's shout so Axel. Yeah. super funny. Um, Axel, way. Axel. Axel. I said Axel. You said so. That's yeah. Did you guys have that in the beginning of his of his? He podcast? said Axel yeah. like A X E L, and I'm like, and then he corrected you. I know. If you're gonna say it in English, it's Axel. But put a C in there. Well, he wanted to be. He wanted it to be. No, he just said as long as it's said with a C. He didn't care if it's Axel or not. Uh, whatever bro. anyways well, <laughs> anyways <laughs> um i would just say like you yourself being vulnerable to them during your photo shoot and just like being like hey i just need a minute like you know like let me get my settings together or just like being like you know how was your day today i don't know that's a really hard question let me like really think about that <laughs> do you want to just be um, good with people Maybe that too i is. mean i can talk so right. i think yeah. that really helps i think maybe like, reading your subject like true, if they're that, more like yeah. out there or not yeah I, I and think. then what i started doing recently so i can't <clears throat> this doesn't go for before but kind of in the last like month i would say i've been sending out like um a pre-questionnaire before a photo oh, shoot okay. to really like know their love language for like couples and just like it's your a really client good idea. yeah like what's your enneagram or what's your love language together like mm-hmm. you know and diving more into them as a couple or a person and really kind of seeing them for who they are and like what they're going through in mm-hmm. life and then you can tap into that you know sometimes people okay. are just naturally comfortable with photo shows and stuff yeah right, right. but when and ever, I'm super hype. I'm like the hype woman okay. at my photo shoots. I'm like, <laughs> oh, helps. like I there just got go. the shot, like yeah, you know. Yeah. And helps. they're like, okay, cool. And I play music. Like I just set the tone to where I kind of get their guards down, and then we can go from there, and we can be best. I think you know? one of the strategies I've recently in the past like six, seven months that I think has helped is. Most of the guy, most of the time, the guys are the more tense ones. Mm-hmm. So I try to like loosen right. up the guy first. Right. You know, That's like a good I move. pay a lot of attention to how they're dressed, right. how they are, like maybe even what kind of car they have. Yeah. Like I, I did a topics I, to talk yeah, about. Like, yeah. Like something to talk about. Like yeah. I did a shoot, I want to say like a month ago, where the guy had these really, really cool Star Wars decals on the side of his car. Like it was like a WRX Subaru, you know? But he had, like, this big Star Wars scenery. Mm. And I was like, that is so dope. Right. Like, I kind of nerded out because I'm like, I love Star Wars. Yeah. So when we got to the area and he parked, I was, like, looking at his car. I'm like, dude, that is so sick. And I saw him from, like, getting out and being, like, a little serious to, like, for real? Yeah. <laughs> and I was Just, like, like, instant like he down. immediately yeah. was, like, so stoked like, that bro, I liked I it. I love right. you. Right. Yeah, and I was like, where the <laughs> hell did you get that? And yeah. he was, like, telling me the shop and then literally from me pointing out his de- like his decals he was like talking to me about star wars for the whole shoot see and that's it like that's the so girl nice. seemed like to be super comfortable in the situation mm-hmm. so i felt like i didn't really need to right get it her is the guys lose. honestly yeah cause she was just kind of happy that i was talking to him uh-huh. so like, like while we were doing the shoot she would just kind of like smile at us and she was like would you guys like become best friends or something <laughs> i'm like low-key <laughs> no i love but that yeah. i think it helps to like 
most of the time start with the guy first because right. they're usually the ones that the girlfriend booked it mm-hmm. so they're kind of just along yeah and sometimes you get dudes who are very comfortable in front of a camera but True. it's it's definitely more of the girl so yeah, crack some I jokes or just straight up be like hey britain i'm not here <laughs> right. you do or literally thing. ask them like what are you into are you into sports say, showing you, do you play video yeah. games are you into like other stuff like what are you into and then even if you don't know the most about it, you know, wing it a little bit. Right. No, definitely. <laughs> Showing interest in them is, like, the biggest thing, you know? Yeah. And, like, during my shoots, too, what I really love to do is give them just, like, silly-ass poses where they're like, what like, is what this? Mm-hmm. But it loosens them up to, like, understand that, like, I'm not serious. You don't have to be either. Like, I'm not going to, you know, say, pose here, do this. I'm going to give you prompts, and you guys can follow those prompts. Yeah. You know start with I mean? the fun ones, too. Right. You know, make it interesting. Yeah. I think it's beginning. good to start with, like... The more traditional ones first and right. then move into like more you Unique, know like kind of yeah yeah because yeah. then they kind of at least get the general idea of what they're doing exactly and then they're yeah. a little more comfortable by then so then it's like okay can i you do this and right like, yeah sure you and know? that's why i hype too because as soon as people like hear like oh that was a banger shot they're like okay like yeah we'll yeah. keep yeah. serving more yeah. you know? I, i'm like, like that a lot sometimes i'll get oh. photos and i'm like, like oh yeah, my God. yeah. <laughs> like, can you believe this sometimes yeah. like, i've had couples like get concerned because I'll, like, take a photo, and I'm like, oh, my God. And uh-huh. they're like, what? And I'm and like, it's amazing. I'm like, that shot? <laughs> right. Chef and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just, like, excited. Yeah. And they're like, well, that's good. We're glad you're happy. And I'm Definitely. like, no, it's just sometimes you get that picture where you're like, this the one. But then you get another one, and you're like, no, this is the one. Right. And then at the end and of the shoot, and then it keeps going. That last and you're photo like, of the shoot is always the last one. Yeah, it's always the last one, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get that very last shot, and you're like, all right, we're good. Do you ever do that? Do you edit, like, back to front? I've heard that. Sometimes I have. Yeah. Really? I heard that's, like, a good way to edit, because usually the last are, like, your banger shots. So then once you get a fire mm-hmm. edit on that one, the rest are just yeah like, i easy. usually um sometimes i'm finding I, myself doing that more actually yeah. sometimes i do go to the one that i know i got the best lighting at. oh right i yeah. edit that there. and then i go to the other ones but yeah, yeah. i i've yeah. been doing that too where it's like the one that i was the most happy with mm-hmm. i'll edit and then i kind of just copy paste from there yeah and yeah. try to make them all similar just similar so, yeah yeah that's I a good her. editing tip guys yeah there lightroom you go. lightroom girl right yep you shouldn't you edit all the way there you go. <laughs> um Someone said, what do you think separates your work from other photographers' work? I don't. That's the thing. You don't think it does? I really suffer from, what is that syndrome? Um, God, I had it. We're like... You don't feel like you should be in that space or that you're as creative as you are. Do, really? What's it called? Maybe. Yeah, I feel I, like I we all have that, about. though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a term for it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I feel like my editing isn't too much different from anyone that you can find. Like, I mean, obviously, like, your guys' editing style is a little bit different than mine, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. You know, like, yours is moody. Mine's maybe a little bit more, like, light yeah. and airy. But I don't know. Like, I don't really see mine as being... Well, when I, you know, when I think back to the first time I went into your like feed, mm-hmm. I definitely thought it was different. Really? Yeah. Me yeah. Too. Really? There's okay. something well, like you. sometimes there's just something right different now. about. It's because whatever you do, uh-huh. you you're different. You're you, you know you're yourself. Yeah. Like whatever you. you do, it's I gonna think, stand out because it's yeah. yourself. You know. Yeah. Like, when yeah. I'm looking at it. I feel like I can immediately. Are at it right now? Yeah, this is her page. <laughs> We're creeping. Well, yeah, um, right Creeper I think status. when I see it, I I see that your whites are very white. Uh huh. Like your skies, they're very like lightly colored, uh-huh. but they're like That's bright. So good. Your skin tones are very, like, natural. Okay, okay. If we're going to yeah. tap into that, then that's the one thing I really pride myself on skin when tone? I... Skin, skin tones. tones. Just because, like, I'm a person of color myself, and I just feel like that's so important to, like... That's the hardest part, too. It is, yeah. And people really appreciate when, like, the darker skin tone really matches, like, their natural yeah. skin tone, you know? So I always try to, like, edit for skin tone. But. I feel like you have, like, a very muted but warm look. If okay. that makes sense, yeah. like you tell me, yeah, yeah, I I'm mean, here for it. Yeah. Now that me. we're like really looking at it, like, I and I mean, to me, a, a lot of the times your angles stand out, mm. like the way you shoot certain angles to capture yeah. like a certain pose. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh. No, I thought I know. your Wi-Fi kind of sucks, bro. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> See, look, like 
Well, I'm not gonna go and like stick in front of the um, camera. But, <laughs> um, a lot of the times, I think, yeah, I think it's the the muted coloring with good soft skin tones is yeah. like how I would describe your page. Well, thank you. Yeah, because really some people good. like yeah. can it's edit consistent. warm. Yeah, you know, like there's people who edit very warm. And it looks good because they balance it. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes it's warm to where you're like, that's not how that person's skin necessarily right. looks. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just it just much. depends. You know, yeah. like his his whites are always washed out. So when I see photos where people tag him, I'm like, that's a childhood picture because mm-hmm. I see the whites like very white. And then there's like that slight little moodiness in the curve. And oh, like, I can pick out your guys' style. Really? <laughs> I don't even need to see the name at the top. I'm like, Nanders, like you know chava yeah like, like i know your guys' dope, style we, we for sure unlocked, That's kind of dope, you yeah. really Let's do go. anytime i see like someone random that i follow that i didn't know you guys took their photos i'm like that is their style i think that's like yeah, the there's cool, a few though. people yeah, that i can really it is yeah yeah there's definitely a couple that i i that stand out to me like immediately you know like from people we've had here caleb has a very unique editing style mm. i think so i always know when it's him chef, chef. has always had like his traditional right. dark moody look right so you always know it's him he, with chef he has even if you too. try to recreate that it's, it's just his no thing. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, it's like the it's vignette just, yeah. yeah the vignette <laughs> just, sometimes i, just <laughs> I, don't even know. I, don't I know, know there's just no way it's so funny because if you ever go like edit with him uh-huh. and he'll just edit a picture in front of you you're like you do all that to that vignette god damn really <laughs> but then he balances yeah. it out so well it's yeah. like yeah, it just it's works really, really well really yeah good. but that's has been that's been the chef style for years yeah, yeah. i know me and my out. friends did a photo shoot with him like four or five years ago and it's been consistent ever since yeah like he just kind of found his his Pocket look and it, it stuck yeah. you know yeah. i mean his is very recognizable too you know, I can definitely tell years apart. Like, there's, like, other girl photographers, too, where I'm like, oh, that's probably her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Taylor so, for me. I always know a Taylor yeah, photo. McKenna, McKenna. McKenna has, like, a green tinty warm look. The turquoise tint. Yeah. It's a turquoise tint. Yeah, 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 tint. yeah. exactly. Yeah. See? <laughs> See, like, yeah. when I see hers, I'm like, that's probably McKenna. Yeah. So, it's, like, it's kind of cool how... It's like photographers, you recognize each other's stuff so much. Yeah. Like, I really like that, actually, yeah, that about cool. it. Super cool. Um, you got any questions, Someone boy? said... How do you feel it's like to be a woman in a most, like, male-dominated industry? Which I think is a great question. That is a great question. Um, Damn, people we'll really do that. Girls no, are taking do. over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I felt good, especially, like, you were one of the first guys I reached out to because you were, like, a top dog. And I was, like, <laughs> your openness to, like, help me kind of just like eliminated any fears of being like a woman in this industry oh, okay. you know well, like yeah, yeah you were very awesome. welcoming and so i was really scared about that like like i said chef and davy and all of them and like jared emerson back in the day was like top dogs yeah, you know what i mean like running the game for right a while. and so that was like very intimidating even though i knew all of them from high school but mm-hmm. um actually reaching out and like seeing that okay you guys want the girls to exceed just as much and vice versa and we can all help each other out was like really reassuring so i feel good though like honestly That's girls awesome. are kind of coming out the works with some yeah, fire right. shots I've been too seeing so a lot more like girl photographers up and coming which yeah. is great because yeah. i think for the longest time like most of the people that kind of had the industry locked were males right but it's kind of nice to see that girls are getting out there more too yeah and i feel like so. we can connect to know, like on that. a like more like we understand like that perfect shot and like yeah. the hair placement yeah. and like you can get a lot know, of like really know? good tips sometimes, from girl photographers right, like yeah. for sure yeah for sure yeah. definitely oh yeah because sometimes i'm i'm like well I'm, I, I wish i could have uh, help you you know <laughs> but i don't know anything yeah. about fashion right. i don't yeah. know right. You like, know, I can try, but, like, you know. And that's a hard. big thing, too, yeah, because, like, I know I send out, like, what-to-wear guides for, like, photo oh, shoots. Cool. And like, depending like, on the location and right. everything. Right, and, you okay. know, and that really helps, too. So Yeah, I started I started doing that more the past, like, year and a half and two years, and it's, mm-hmm. it helps a lot. It does. Like, so. even if you don't give them a specific outfit, mm-hmm. but you go on Pinterest and, like, Kinda give, give them, them an overall board. idea, and yeah. they're like, okay, right. I can make that work. Because then, you know, like, you... Excuse me, you said depending on the location, there's certain things that look better. Mm-hmm. And, you know, time of day, like how bright the light is yeah, and all that stuff. all the above, yeah. It goes into so much of it, <laughs> I yeah. know. Like moon rocks, I'm like black. Like, yeah, we're, we're black, black, red, you know? white stands out out yeah. there really pretty too. <laughs> it's funny you say black because I just did a maternity there last weekend and 
um, she asked me what kind of dress to wear, and I'm like, wear a black dress. Wear black. Yep. She was like, okay. <laughs> yep, that's like money do out that. there. I don't. No, I don't. You just kind of let them wing it. I kind of just let them. Nothing wrong decide. with that. Yeah. I mean, no, that's fine. I did yeah. it for the longest time. Me I was too. Just, I just recently did yeah. that. You know. Cause... I started like early last year, I think, like yeah. really sending people Pinterest things, and, and it, but like, I just okay. got to show just how much, you know, detail there is in like your right. stuff. Which yeah. is super, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. the fact that you do the questionnaires and then you yep. you give them the guides is, like, really important. So yeah, I think yeah. That's why, like, maybe your stuff is so consistent, too. Because you're, like, really, I don't know, you kind of imply you really the same control formula. control every yeah. aspect of sense. the photos and it's stuff. It's funny you guys say that, though, because I just plugged in the formula, like, a couple months ago. Really? To where I was like, okay, I need to start doing these things <laughs> mm-hmm. for the consistency. But, like, beforehand, I was the same way. Just wear whatever you're comfortable in, like, you know, and... Because uh, with us, sometimes I show up to a shoot, I don't even know the person. Oh, right. And, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm trying to... <clears throat> Not only get good stuff for them, but also turn it, match it to mm-hmm. what I like and yeah. to what my feed is and everything like that. But that just really goes to show, you know, no wonder why you're so busy and no wonder why you're <laughs> succeeding so well. Thank <laughs> you. You guys are so um, nice. Somebody said, do you have a dream location or type of shoot that you want to do? Oh. <sighs> at all i don't really have a dream location i mean i feel blessed to go drive anywhere and be in any state or city just doing what i love honestly but i guess if i had a dream location it'd probably be new zealand okay um it's a good spot just because i want to move there so Um, i mean new zealand's beautiful yeah and then um no i just love creating like i love doing something different each photo shoot not trying to keep it the same and just styled shoots are super awesome too so no not really i know that's not probably the answer you want to hear but like new zealand and yeah i just like love shooting so i love just being creative like i I I feel like we're in a good spot you know no i think we're we're very yeah we are so so lucky i also think that's one of the reasons why so many people here are getting into photography because they realize there's so much like around and that you can use, like, you know? Like, so much... It's all versatile. You have the desert. You have mm-hmm. the lake. You have yeah, the forest. Yeah, I've, like, I've, I've thought about that. It's like, you can do some urban city shoots. Right. You can do, like, big open fields. You can do lakes. You can do mountains. You can do the desert. You mm-hmm. can go to Sand Mountain and get, like, that crazy sand dune look. Right. Like, and it's within a driving distance, yeah. you know? It's not like that's super far. I love so. that. That's the best part about Reno. It's, yeah. It's just so close yeah. to everything, I think, like, know? being a photographer here, it's not hard to find, like, locations yeah. right without even like getting burnt out of like going everywhere like there's right. you know like i recently started going more to wash the valley and i love it out there yeah i need to go out there more it's so nice i know it's it so is very nice. nice i always drive by it and i always say that to myself like i like, need a sunset at wash valley is like insane because right. you have those big mountain ranges like behind so the field too so yeah. you get to see the light just like perfectly falling from the Ooh. mountain it's so nice i'm like i need to get out here more let's like, go really we're gonna go with go. our gimbals oh, yeah, out there gimbal day. <laughs> I know, right? gimbal day in we're Washoe gonna go valley. record a video yep. at washo that's, that's what we're doing that's the location yeah. for our gimbal day there you go <laughs> don't you hate when everybody when people are like oh so everybody's a photographer now oh i hate that i'm like well yeah it's freaking fun i know yeah <laughs> like, there's no shame in it like like we've always been saying like there's room for everyone, everyone. you know i don't like when people say that about anything yeah like when they're like oh everybody wants to be a a rapper or right. everybody wants right. to paint now and everyone wants to do this and it's yeah. like what are you doing yeah like sorry people have hobbies and right. you're a lame and you don't have anything else to do besides right. your normal routine like Gross. why don't you find a hobby yeah i hate that i, I hate, hate that. that i agree with that because i remember when i was up and coming with photos people used to tell me that all the time they're like oh you want to be a photographer now like you're just in it for the hype blah, uh-huh. blah 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 and i'm like bruh that's not it i'm like we'll see you in a couple years it's, right it's fine <laughs> yeah. like, like, you know. yeah, yeah. I'm like okay yeah. you guys don't tell me that now huh? yeah <laughs> I'm like, yeah whatever man i i hate that i think yeah. it's so annoying so it's annoying. like yeah. just let people do what makes them happy man like i agree within yeah. a yeah. thin line like if they're out there you know doing illegal just things like <laughs> maybe, maybe not support maybe, as much but maybe fall back thing. a little bit like hey <laughs> don't right. get arrested now <laughs> but right. you know it's like just i don't know man unless you're doing something to occupy your time like you shouldn't be you know judging people for what they want to do like the whole everyone's this is like the lamest term 
I agree. So, At least I think they're I've doing like, something. I've know? called out people on Twitter with that before. I've Good never been you. scared to like yeah. tell them like, so what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm like, yeah. do you take pictures? Really? Do you draw? Do you have any musical talent? And people no? don't understand it's like an outlet for us too. And if that like appeals to multiple people, then that's fine. It's an art. And we mm-hmm. all kind of are drawn to some form of art in any sort of way. Because you know I think, I mean? I mean, for the longest time, like me and you, how long we worked full-time and everything like at a normal job before making it you know full-time now like i know he's only a weekend but still like for the longest time it was you know he got into it because he liked it yeah yeah not like he was making hella money when he got a camera or anything like that it's just he enjoyed it and then it's here yeah Yeah. you know that's kind of how it goes so it's like let people be happy I exactly, have a question man. for you guys. What's up? Mm. What is it? <laughs> well, I was gonna say, We're like, oh, okay, okay. really? <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're being Swap the roles. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, okay. What's your opinion about photographers asking other photographers for, like, locations? Or I, oh, where did you shoot that? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I think we have a pretty set answer for yes. this. Okay. Let's hear it. You want to go first? Um, if, if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'll go first. I... I honestly don't have an issue with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had people ask me a lot of times, and mm-hmm. I always tell them where. I just ask them to be respectful of the environment. Right. That's it. Like, right. if it's in an area where it's not normally touched by people, mm-hmm. um, I'm like, you know, go there, but, you know, be respectful of your surroundings. Like, don't go trash it or anything like that. Or, like, be careful with... Um, like telling people where it is mm-hmm. because you never know when someone's like, Oh, that's a pretty place, but they just go and like do something stupid. Right. Yeah. Like you know what a I mean? party out there. Yeah. Or it's something. Exactly. Yeah. Like the other day when I went to moon rocks, I, all the rocks over there are like graffitied up. I know. And so I was sad. like, are you serious, dude? Right. Like what the hell? Right. <laughs> that yeah. was like, when I went to the maternity shoot, I was like, this was not here like two weeks ago. No, when I came, yeah, like, that was recent, so bad. you yeah, know? It's and it's like, up. what are they going to do now? Like if they try to remove, spray paint with chemicals that's probably gonna damage the rock mm-hmm. and it's not gonna keep the same look anymore right. and it's like i don't know some people just don't care about it but it's like you know i i don't know i've never had an issue with that's on yeah because we talked about this with chef oh, yeah. Yeah, oh he, really he, and that was episode one so that was a yeah. while back How funny. <laughs> and yeah. i remember exactly what he said so basically if it's like a known spot mm-hmm. like I don't have any problems. Like, mm-hmm. everybody knows about this. Why can't you, you know? Right, yeah. So you're going to find that either way. But I feel like when somebody puts a lot of work to find a location, then that kind of gets tricky because, like, right. you did all the work, you know, and you maybe deserve some credit to have the location to that place. So you can't just give it away, I don't think. In you that know? sense, yeah. I've had that where I've found spots where they're not very known about Mm -hmm. and i think i've only told the people who i'm like close with right like a photographer i'm actually friends with yeah i mean like yeah like if he asked me or you asked me or like chef or like davy i would be like oh it's right here dude yeah Yeah. but not just like some random person i've never met and i'm like sorry but do you think it's different when it comes to like a photographer asking you versus like maybe just like someone who wants to go there like were you more inclined Mm. to tell a photographer hey it's here versus just i think so because i i think they're going to the place with the same mindset i was right where they're like i just want to capture it so because i feel like scouting is also part of photography Mm -hmm. you know you have to go out there you have to put in the work right and then i feel like you deserve some credit you know if you Mm -hmm. find this cool spot that nobody knows about that's your credit. Like, right, that's, yeah, you did you the can, work yeah, to find it. You did it. the work to find it. So I don't need... <clears throat> it's hard. It's a hard subject. I know. Yeah. I don't know if it's I would get, so like, tricky. really offended if somebody was like, hey, this is just kind of my spot because yeah. I put in the work to find it, so I'm not really sharing it. I'd be like, you know what, that's fair. Like, yeah. okay, you know? But if it is, like, somewhere where you see other people go and you just kind of don't know where it is right. and you want to go to it's like don't really withhold that right like, yeah, yeah. i it's funny you say that because um mandy asked me about a certain place in verdi not that long ago mm-hmm. and she was like hey um <laughs> she approached me in that sense of like hey like do you think it's okay if i if i go to this place like I- i've been meaning to ask you since you know you kind of know about it and yeah. i was like oh yeah and i like te- texted her a pin like immediately i'm like you park here, here you is. go here and you do that and she's like oh wow okay thanks <laughs> she's like 
Sorry, I just didn't know how you felt about it. I was like, no, it's cool. Like, I know, it's just it's a touchy topic with it some is. photographers. I mean, some so. people are more sentimental about it, of like, right. that's my spot, but I guess it depends. I yeah. Mean, I don't know. I don't really have an issue with it, unless, like he said, uh, it's somewhere that I specifically find myself and I put Did a lot work of work for. in to do it. Yeah. Like, for example, Chev was telling us that he went out hiking a whole day right mm -hmm. just to find this one spot wow yeah. and i'm like well just put in the work mm -hmm. like why are you gonna give it away for somebody you know no I totally know. yeah i, I mean there's it's not like i i definitely do not know like many cool locations so i haven't <laughs> been in the situation to where somebody is like hey where are you find we're that, just gonna you know? go on a big day road trip i go to i know yeah, so right, with our we're... gimbals <laughs> <laughs> so take our gimbals and then we're gonna drive around the reno tahoe area and be like chava you can come here you i can know come here. we're gonna go here like, we need the gimbals right yeah but the gimbals the gimbals yep. Gimbal we can't forget, forget that <laughs> yeah. can't forget it definitely that's hilarious <laughs> oh gosh do you got any more questions for these, uh yeah uh, the young lady the last one was um <laughs> what are your major goals for this year as far as any type of photography creative outlet major goals um my major goal this year now that things are easy enough with covid is to travel and go to more like destination spots like yosemite and um like horseshoe bend and mm -hmm. stuff like that and then really just kind of getting more weddings under my belt more brands under my belt to kind of diversify my portfolio um and kind of just tap into that. I really want to, like, separate what I'm doing so people kind of know, like, what I'm really into. You know what oh, I mean? I see. So, like, I did two separate photography pages now. I have, like, mm. a portrait page and then, like, my couples and weddings and, like, engagements. Oh, okay. um, just because I always got asked, like, oh, I was really scared to reach out to you because I've only seen, like, portraits. But I'm like, no, I do everything. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I have so, that happen, too. Yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad I idea to have it. another one. Because yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I do a lot of video. Well, not a lot, but I feel like I'm going to get into video I think more. you yeah. having, like, a, a video page Cause would I do, be a bad idea. Yeah, honestly. I do video for weddings, quinceañeras, and then I do studio shoots mm -hmm. i do outdoor shoots i do family shoots i do everything so yeah. i just don't know how to handle it sometimes that's I think how maybe i felt too it. honestly i think mm -hmm. that's like the best route to take is just to separate it and yeah. just be like here's this kind of work and here's this and people i um, will understand i was more. thinking of making one like strictly for wedding photos yeah um because I, I like i like posting elopements and i'm probably gonna be posting more now that i've been doing more yeah um but I like posting them throughout the year. You know, obviously mm -hmm. once like wedding season kicks off, I'll probably be posting more wedding stuff. Right. And um, when couples reach out to me and they're like, do you have any like samples? I mean, I keep a folder in my computer where I'm mm -hmm. like, here you go. And it's like four weddings mixed in. Yeah. And then they can go look at it and they're like, oh, okay. It's just, I haven't seen you post one in a while. Exactly. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, I think I need to do something about that. Yeah. Cause I feel like if I just had one page for nothing but weddings then mm -hmm. people are like okay so he does do weddings but then that's what i, I also want into. people to yeah. see other stuff like the once portraits. grad season kicks in i'll probably be posting hella grad photos because right. i like posting them anyways and then it's like couples solos like whatever just like on my main one but yeah i think it's good to have like a different outlet on instagram yeah. like because i've had that problem everything. so many times where they're just like i just didn't know and i'm like yeah mm -hmm. you know i, I never post family portraits if you look at my page there's not a single family portrait mm -hmm. on there and so every time i get that inquiry they're always so like timid being like that's funny because i don't or? think i have any on mine either yeah and, and i do a lot of family pictures yeah actually, you do a lot but i don't really <laughs> yeah. have that many i need to start mm -hmm. posting those yeah. man just I'm separating slacking. the pages <laughs> And then I think the last thing for me is, like, creative shoots, so, like, styled shoots I'm really going to tap into this mm -hmm. year and, like, kind of set those scenes of, like, really cool. Yeah, I think it would just be a, a matter of separating the two pages and mm -hmm. saying, what do I want on this one and what on this one? Yeah. You know, like, maybe your main page can just kind of be what it is now, mm -hmm. but then your other page is, like, something else. You yeah. Know, just to kind of balance it, so. Just to. Hey, and it's free. It I Making know. Making Instagram accounts right? is free. That is true. <laughs> That's the benefit of it, it, you know? Yeah, I feel like we overthink sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah we do. I yeah. know. That's why I haven't are posted in a while. By nature, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. By nature. By nature. Or are you struggling with, like, the... You don't think what you're going to post is aligned with what you have? Okay, I thought... I 
finally figured it out. It's called imposter syndrome, right? Oh, okay. Where have you guys heard that yeah, term heard before? Of it. Uh-huh. Right. So I'm kind of going through the works with that right now, where I'm like, oh, is this going to match the feed? Is this good enough? Mm-hmm. Like, are people going to like it? Like, da da da. Right. And so I've kind of just taken a step back, right? I haven't posted on IG in quite some time. Honestly, if you look at my last post, it's probably it's been, been a while. Like, it's been a while. Um, and that's because I'm just taking time for myself to create what I want to see personally and what like kind of fills my cup up and then I'll get back to posting again so right now I'm just kind of doing photo shoots for myself and like you know seeing what I want to create and how I want to go about like this new wave I feel like for some reason I feel like we're like approaching a new wave of photography Mm -hmm. and I just want to make sure I have like a level head going into that so um yeah, I mean, that's kind of... There's nothing wrong with that, though. I feel like sometimes it's good to fall back right. yeah, on, like, Instagram for a bit. Yeah. And sometimes if you don't do it... If you don't... How, how do you say this? I feel, I'm sorry. English. I know it I'm happens sorry, to English. me, too. Say it in Spanish. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> say it in Spanish. I just feel like if you don't do it, then eventually you're automatically going to fall into it, you know? Because right. if you're constantly going, going, going then you're going to shut off eventually Mm -hmm. because you always get that. I've I've been through that, you know, it's burnt out. You get burnt out and you're like, I'm just, I just have to, you know, Mm -hmm. but I feel like it's good to just be proactive. That's Mm -hmm. the word that I'm going to be proactive about it. Take a break, you know, get settled again and then go, go after it. Definitely. It's It's okay to take breaks from social media. Right. That's a thing. Like social media can be overwhelming. Oh, yeah. I had it bad. I was like, wow. If you're not in the right, yeah. If you're yeah. not in the right mindset, it's, it can really mess with yeah. you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You can. You have to be really. Like um, I sometimes tell myself, about, okay, post Monday through Friday at least one picture. Mm-hmm. Like that's Dude. where I'm at right now. Or like scheduling it yeah. to do it. And then like you. weekends, yeah. I'm just like, whatever. I'm not gonna post anything. Yeah. Like, there I'm was a time where I was so freaking obsessed with posting, and then seeing like oh who liked it oh and right how many likes mm. am i getting you know numbers making sure you post it at the right time I, too yeah after, i yeah. caught myself like dude what yeah. the hell this is not cool like i have to do something about this you mm-hmm. know and so now every time i post i kind of just close my phone put it away yeah same Smart. Just, i posted it right? i don't have and notifications on my instagram turned on I yeah I wow. turned them off. I turned. I them haven't off for had a notifications while. on Instagram for like a year. You guys want another little tip though, like what? for posting, you're not supposed to put your phone away. You're actually supposed to be on IG for like right, you have totally twenty minutes. Stuff, yeah, yeah, like after what do you, you mean? post. Like when you post it. Once you post, you're supposed to be on IG for twenty minutes from the time you post it, and then twenty minutes after. What the yeah. heck? We have mm-hmm. to be like interacting with like. You have the to be like yeah, stuff, liking right? like other people's posts, or oh, really? if someone oh. comments instead of like waiting to comment back, like, like respond back right away. Oh, I didn't know like that. wow. Is that how the algorithm is nowadays? It is. The algorithm's mm. crazy right now. What? I learned I it always on, just go post it. I'm like, all right. Okay, I, I have another topic House. now. I have another topic. Let's hear and it. And this is like, you, I'm glad you brought this up. Okay. Because you remember when the algorithm changed? Yes. And now saving is like the best thing for Supposedly, creators. Right, yes. Supposedly, Who knows, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, who knows? yeah. <laughs> but I feel like everybody was so focused on like, oh, can you get, please go save it, go save it, go mm-hmm. save it. And I feel like people were so, so focused on the algorithm. When in reality, I feel like putting your work out there, being having good work out there, and then word of mouth is more important if you want to get clients. Totally, Because yeah. the algorithm can get you a lot of likes, mm-hmm. but then is that going to get you clients? You likes know? don't pay bills. I don't know it what, really you, doesn't. what no. your thoughts are on that. No, I agree, because like my photos only sometimes can pull as low as like a hundred you know what i mean but it's like the fact of the experience that i like Mm -hmm. gave that client and they're gonna tell their friends their family like anyone that really asked like i loved her yeah here's why you know like that's what matters likes i don't think you should go after likes yeah you know i haven't I mean? cared about likes in like three years yeah. that's why i don't post because <laughs> like i'm like legit. i'm still booking stuff yeah, exactly without having to post but i know it's gonna eventually catch up to where i'm gonna be like i, I only post, really post you know? because like i have so much to post you do yeah. And yeah. i like yeah. posting yeah. i like yeah. posting everything like yeah. i like i don't know i just want to highlight all the stuff that, that i'm you doing do. no absolutely. and then i think people feel nice when you post their stuff too yeah totally like yeah you, like when you just do like a couple session and then you post it like a few days later they're like oh wow look he posted it yeah no, like because sometimes you don't always get around to posting everything because you know you just have so much yeah um but for the most part like i try to kind of post in order mm-hmm. as i'm doing shoots and like i'll be kind of slowly catching up right on like my galleries and i'm like oh i did this one like last week 
and then tomorrow I can post this one. And they're like in order, basically. And people will point that out. They're like, oh, I saw you posted my pictures. I'm like, yeah. They love it. I know. They love to see it. Yeah, they honestly. do like it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I just post because I like to post. But right. then I caught myself being like, oh, I don't really like this set. Like, I, I can't really post this because it's not going to mm-hmm. get likes. That's, and I and was that's like, like the I, trap I feel, yeah. I fell into. Oh, that's yeah. why I haven't posted because I'm like, you know, that doesn't represent like me and my work and like the likes and just the criticism that you give yourself when you post right. something you're like does I think that it's match like the a feed little, or? it's just the natural photographer with instagram thing that everyone goes through mm-hmm. and i mean it took me like three years to get out of it really like for the longest time i used to be really concerned with like what time of date to post and things like that but for the longest time now i'm just like i'm just gonna go post it and like yeah. i don't care yeah like if it gets a little bit of likes i'm like i don't care you yeah if it gets a lot i'm like that's cool yeah or comments or whatever i'm just like that's that's cool i'm like i just want to post it because i want to show what i was doing unless yeah so. at least people are seeing your work you got to yeah. the point where i was it was really affecting my mood mm. you know what i mean so yeah. i was like oh this is not good so i took a little, a little break <clears throat> And I feel like right now I'm in a good mindset, so I, I can just post and it's whatever. Yeah. You know, but Sounds like you're you going through the imposter syndrome yeah. thing, oh, too. Yeah. I was, yeah. We I'm, all go through I'm it. finally through coming it. out of it where I'm like, okay. Like, like I'm just going to go post whatever. Yeah. It's coming you back, know? everybody. Com- sometimes Monday. you just take a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. On Monday, I'll start up again. <laughs> no, sometimes you just need a little break. It's, yeah. You know, it's normal. It's and just wrong. like creating for yourself, you know, instead of thinking, is this going to go through the feed? Yeah, don't create for other people, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah post just like what you, you want to post right. shoot what you want to shoot like i don't know it's just just be yourself it's part right. of it people will come to you and book you for that mm-hmm. not because you're doing what everyone else is doing yeah because if not they'll go to everyone else right you know yeah, exactly. yeah. so be when people hire you yourself. they're hiring you more for like the person you are and like the quality of your work versus mm-hmm. like someone else maybe they like your editing style more than someone else maybe, like, maybe they just want to hang out with you you know right maybe they just dude I, cool person. i've had couples who are like we wanted to meet you and i'm like well hi guys <laughs> i'm nanders <laughs> nice to meet you <laughs> like, they'll be like, yeah we like they're wanting to book a shoot and we're like oh we get to meet him i'm like okay oh that's well, hi. cool that must be like the best feeling i mean yeah i'm just like that. don't make cool. me try to be like a celebrity or nothing right. like i'm just you here, are no stop Manders don't, yeah, you are, bro. don't even don't be acting like you're knows, not yeah. God, it's okay yeah, it's have okay. your moment of clout you don't have to be so humble all the time no. it's all good. <laughs> i'm just a normal guy man. we're, we're respected <laughs> i'm super lame people don't know it but i'm super that's lame <laughs> that's also a look at my instagram stories i'm just posting video games all the time that's what i do in my free time i go stream or movies what you post like what you're watching what are you doing in your free time do you have any free time I have free time. I like to roller skate in oh. my free time. I can't roller skate to save hey, my life. I like to do roller that. skate day with oh, gimbals. With the gimbals? I'm gonna go break yes. my legs. Yes, everything's a no. gimbal day. I'm going right. to break my legs. <laughs> Hell like, no. I like uh, my legs how they are. That's so funny. I can't that's roller funny. skate. Yeah. I can't either. I got to really? try it. I got to try it. You Maybe guys I should. Can. Yeah. I, I haven't tried it in like nine years. Well, that's but. fun oh, though. On. I like it. It's good cardio. Yeah. So I love that. I love hiking, just being outdoors, just like. We're always stuck behind like a lens or a laptop or a screen yeah, it's of good some to get sort. Out. Oh, yeah. So I just like being away from like my home office, walks. you know? Yeah. At if least I'm being honest, I'm, I'm kind of just taking tips right now because I was like, <laughs> the other day I was editing all day and I was like, oh, you I'm don't start- know what to do. I'm starting to get a headache, yeah. you know? I gotta do something. I Work mean, out. Take so breaks maybe I'll start roller editing. skating. Yeah. If you watch me roller skating, then mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Jasmine honestly, like, to do when it. I know I have like a long editing day, it's not like I sit there for eight hours nonstop. Right. Like, I'll do like two hours and then I take a break to do something and then come back to it. Right. Even yeah. if it's like I watch an episode of a show, but just to get away from like staring I, at a laptop. I like, physically cannot stare at my screen for more than like two hours same. before my eyes are just right. like, you need to like look away and yeah. go do something Yeah, sometimes else. I just go like... Yeah. Oh, no. Sometimes <laughs> I even get like... I've gotten nauseous before because I've been just looking at a screen for I get like the six hours. I, I just... Well, I a couple months ago, I just got blue light glasses and they help. Nice. Those do help Those a lot. Those help a lot. Those actually. really do. I only really yeah. use them when I'm editing or like 
streaming because I'm also kind of in front of a, right. a screen. Yeah. But other than that, like, you know, it, it helps though. It helps your eyes a lot. Yeah. For sure. I started working out too. Oh, nice. Oh, I, feel, I feel so good, guys. Can I just share that with you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so amazing. Good. I'm, like, I'm like back on my gym brain. I was, even my mom noticed this. Like, I'm in a better mood. Yeah. I'm just so much working happier, you know? Yeah. It's just, yeah that it Over does it you. too it really does mm -hmm. the endorphins i was working and i was starting to hate my job and right. i was going into it i was like i don't want to be here i don't want to be here i don't want to be here mm -hmm. so now that i have all the time welcome awesome. to the club know, thank man. you we're welcoming you with open thank arms you for welcoming first, in. Yeah. first week in like I know. <laughs> such a good feeling it honestly is. It really is. scary but good yeah so. i feel really good but yeah. do you have anything else you want to go over um what <laughs> anything else you want to oh. go over with her oh no i'm good i, I think, think i mean i touched on the in. on the questions that i think really stood out yeah. so yeah. yeah unless there's anything else you want to share with us plug your yeah. instagram again you plug know. my ig okay follow me at underscore jasmine john photography Ooh. and if you want my portrait page is jasmine john portraits as well so she's there got you. it dude it. Dude, you'd be surprised how many people just screw that up like I they, know. they can't even get their plug in <laughs> i had right. to think about that <laughs> Like, don't screw it. Yo, I'm going to make a second page called, like, Nander's version 2. <laughs> Good, go. yeah. 2.0. 2. I can't name 2. it somewhere else. I have to be, like, Nander's portraits. Right. <laughs> right. I feel like just, like, your if your name's a staple, which, like, you are very much, like, a Nander staple, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, people kind of just know me for that now. Yeah, I, I feel like think I can't, your page has to have that. I can't switch that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds funny, though. Nander's portraits. Nanders. Portraits by Nander's. <laughs> portraits by Nander's. Yeah, yeah that's not nah, that bad. No, Nanders there's first, a ring huh? to that. I like that. I follow Nanders it. First? Is yeah, that the move? I think. I'll think about it. Nanders. I'll send you suggestions when I make it. <laughs> yeah. Group chat it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll text right. both of you guys. So we can talk about gimbals too. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, but thank you for coming on, Jasmine. Yeah, we thank appreciate you for it. having me. Yeah, thank you, Jasmine. Super this cool. was super fun. Yeah. Um, you did yeah. great for your first podcast. I know. Thank for you. Oh my God. It's not so hard, huh? No. Honestly, you guys are easy to talk to. Are too, we? So. We try. Yeah. You hear I mean, that? I We're guess. easy. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you guys so. really are. I That's thought good. for a moment I was like the worst podcast host. You know? You are. Because, yeah, we, I don't know. We just do this, you know, but... You guys you do a good job. No, host. you guys really no, do a good job. No, but thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Yeah, we, no, thank you. I appreciate no, it. When you appreciate told me it. that you were coming, I was like, yes. Yes. He's coming. Oh, you're It was so nice, nice to meet you. And yeah, you too. I hope this year this year goes well for you. Thank you. I mean, I we're going to be seeing you in like a month. Yeah, I know. Yeah. For the wedding. We're so. going to trio it. We're going to be partying it up. In the photo booth. and We're going to have that photo booth. We're going to do it. Dope, It'll know? be so fun. I'm there excited. Yeah, awesome. yeah. All right, Jasmine. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And then yeah, we're thank you. Here. Well, this is where we wrap episode 19, guys. Stay tuned for next episode. Yes. And we'll announce the guest soon and probably have this ready and either, well, knowing this uh, tomorrow. crackhead over for here, sure. probably by tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. No doubt about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, thanks guys. for watching. Bye. And Bye. Peace out. Bye.